if I was there, I'd be like, what the hell was that? Like, yeah. I would have been, I would have been livid. Kenny and Mari, on the other hand, um, I was rooting for them pretty hard earlier in the season. Now I'm just confused that every episode they have the same conversation and they fight and break up and fight and break up and this spiritual healer is gonna solve their problems. And I just, I don't, I don't really buy it. I think they're gonna implode in the real world. That's I wonder, I wonder what's going on there. One, I think Mari is probably one of the most beautiful girls I've seen. She is stunning, um, just naturally, but I, you know what, I I kind of noticed a trait here and I could be totally off on this, but it almost sounds like um, Kenny really, really likes the excitement. And it almost sounds like excitement or is it toxicity? Because it's like when the Demi situation was coming on, there was a lot of like drama around him and that's when him and Mari got passionate because it was like pulling this way, pulling that way. And then now that things have like cooled off and it seems like I would expect them to just be secure. Now he's saying things okay. like the passion's not there. And I was like, wait, what? Like, why? Yeah. Like, this is for the first time you guys are like truly, truly stable. Like you should be fine. Imagine eating tacos off of someone and then like two days later being like, we have no passion. It's like, what is happening? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with this head. Again, we don't see that yeah. much, so. But when I saw that, I was like, what do you mean? Like, this is the first time you guys are stable. This is where you should start falling in love more, but. My hot take on them on the Us Weekly Bachelor YouTube show this morning was they kind of give me Grant and Lace vibes from a few seasons ago. And I think Mari is amazing. Not that they're not total direct parallel, but just like, they had so ties and lows in paradise. And I was like, maybe it'll work just because like, it's so insane. They got tattoos that say grace, never forget. But also like, this is just, in, I, it's just going to implode. And I could see these two having a similar trajectory. Yeah, you know way more than I do. I don't even know who those people are. I don't know what the tattoo is. I have These no people in paradise a few years ago got grace tattoos. It was Grant and Lace and they got grace tattooed on them. And they just would break up too all the time. And it was like, is it just weird enough to work in the real world or are they going to implode? And they imploded. And I think Mari and Kenny might have a similar trajectory. Oh no. Fingers yeah. crossed. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. Um, we, went, we went to prom, which was so high school in general. It was perfect because you get you get back in your head, right? I feel like if I was on that beach and I was like a Tia who had to go to quote unquote prom alone, I would feel like 17 again. Like I felt so bad for Tia. So bad. Like it was it was the perfect footage too of like her with these like big, big puffy shoulders and like the scrunchy. And then it's like her running away being like, I deserve love too. I was like, oh my God, Tia, I feel horrible for you. Yeah, it was it was a little tough there. And they had, you know, the prom posals and the ridiculous, it was all obviously like producer props and stuff, but the clothes were cute. It was an interesting way to kind of get everyone out of their comfort of laying on the beach chairs with each other or whatever. And we quickly see Aaron, you know, decide maybe he had a little bit too much of that spiked punch. Maybe he's been waiting for Tia to be available. I have no idea where this came from, but we see him take Tia away and a very passionate high school style makeout go down at the prom. Yeah, I was, again, like, I think with Aaron, I think he, like, want, maybe he just wasn't interested in McKenna, I'm not sure, but I think he almost wanted to turn McKenna away so he didn't look like mm. the Ivan in this scenario and he was being loyal and actually like Chelsea, but then when he did the switch to Tia, it's like, where's your mind? Where's your brain? Like, what are you doing? He had no game, um, no plan. I, I, I'm I'm confused by that. I don't, I don't know where that came from. Because, you know, Tia's been there and... And then, I don't know, the, the hit, I can't say this word, but I keep wanting to say it, hypocrisy. <laughs> you can say it, confidence, Kelly, you can say it. <laughs> I don't know why it's like, I'm struggling to say it. But um, yeah, I, I don't know what the game plan was there. I don't either. And I mean, it's again, there's a, an aspect of it that always tells me it's the name of the game. They can do whatever they want. No one's locked in at this point. He barely knows Chelsea, even though he fought so hard for her, um, quote unquote. But the walking past her together and then dancing, I don't know if it was just the edit, but it, it didn't look the great. The worst part was he pulled Tia when Tia was dancing with Chelsea. And I was oh like, God. oh no, oh no, oh no. Because I think you like kind of saw Chelsea or God, if I was Chelsea, I'd feel like this. But like, I think she was like getting excited that he was coming over to talk to her, pull her aside and like dance with her. And next thing you know, he's actually pulling Tia. Like if I was there, I'd be like, 
the hell was that? Like, yeah. I would have been, I would have been livid. It was not good and it felt so high school. Like, whose prom date, like, didn't go hook up with someone else and, like, break <laughs> your heart in the moment? Like, it really was, like, so, like, the insecurities and it's so real. And I feel bad for Chelsea because she's, like, so pretty and she seems so nice and normal and she's kind of gotten wrapped up in this, like, love triangle thing. But yeah. no one's really, like, she's not getting a fair shot. Like, she's kind of, like, being, like, a, like, toss, not tossed around, but, like, I don't know, I, I feel like she's- I almost feel like, I, I do feel bad for Chelsea, but at the same time, I don't think she, her expectations were too high. Cause I, she did say she was like genuinely falling for Aaron. But again, I didn't necessarily see enough of their interactions to like actually say that. Yeah. You know, it, it's almost like she wasn't blindsided. And from what was shown at least, like it was kind of just like, yeah, they linked up, they were looking for roses and stuff like that. But, um. I think she was just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Gotta go. It's yeah. winding down. Yeah.